few months ago, at age 73, I was within two and a half pounds of my immediate goal of a 315 pound bench press. But I injured my shoulder, had to take time off, lost strength, and had to build back up to where I was. This I did, and again, with 315 within my grasp, less than three and a half pounds distant, the gods of weightlifting turned on me again. I caught the flu, something I haven't had in decades, and my strength plummeted at a shocking rate. The fever, chills, and such lasted only a few days, but the respiratory problem took longer to clear out. And a real condition called flu fatigue or post-viral fatigue had seemed to swarm me. I laid in bed for nearly six weeks. Bizarrely, one of my feet hurt so much that I couldn't stand on it. I had no appetite and my body weight dropped 15 to 20 pounds. And when I finally crawled back into the gym a couple weeks ago, I was stunned to discover that the most I could bench press was one repetition of 210, more than a 100 pound drop from what I was doing just six weeks earlier. I was more than disheartened, really discouraged. I am old. Muscle doesn't grow as easily as when you're young. Was my serious lifting adventure over? I don't know the future. I don't have any false bravado. But in the nine days since I've been lifting again, I've went up 20 pounds from a 210 bench to a 230. This is a million miles from where I was, but I have cautious hope that fighting the weight, fighting old age, and fighting flu fatigue, maybe in two to three months I can inch back up to the neighborhood I had been a few weeks ago. Who knows what an old guy's limits are. I guess being destroyed by the flu is just another lesson in humility, lesson learned. Folks, be thankful for whatever you are able to do. Don't take your health for granted.